Rufus Xavier Sarsaparilla. <laughs> oh man, okay. Hey, I'm still reading the, the responses. Anybody coming at my neck all fucking crazy? Block. I ain't got time with that shit. For real, for real, man. For real. Be respectful. All that name calling and uh, 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 you ain't no better than who you supposed to be coming here venting about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Ew. Uh, uh. Fuck out of here. Come correct or don't come at all. Fuck out of here. I ain't got time for this shit. Saturday? I done cuss their asses out. But now, I'm, I'm good today. It is a new day. It's a Thursday. This we went quick. Thank God. Cause, yeah, I'm going through it. Turn me out. Like a boat too much. Do it all of the time. I think I'm going all all night. Taking it all. Say to take a one bite. <laughs> Through it all of the time. For crying out loud. I won't go. Head down to my toes. Ah! Watch this. Watch it. What? It didn't go off? Mmm. Yeah, wait a minute. Just as I want you. I got a lot of comments that say, eh, eh, don't, don't fuck with me. Wow. Now, me personally, like I said, <laughs> I can see if you reaching over, try to press or uh, uh, touch private parts and everything. Ew. Like, <laughs> no, they talking also like he grabbed me and hugged me. No, no, no. He held his arms out for a hug and I hugged him. <laughs> it, it ain't no big deal. They acting like my mother. She, she had to uh, preach about what's that called? How I put that? I, I know it wasn't no fucking boundaries, was it really? I know she had said, because our church was big on hugging and kissing. You extend your hand and say, hey, brother, how, sister, how you doing? Uh, uh, give me a hug. I want a hug. Uh, yeah, cool. Then they got to kiss you on the cheek. Now, I don't mind. I don't mind. It ain't no big deal to me. I, I'm an affectionate person. Oh, uh, not that way, because neither one of my parents are. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, uh, that's why, you know, I'm cut from a different cloth. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's strange. That's just I. Yes, I'm, I'm an, affect an affectionate person. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with that. And she always taught me, yeah, yeah. She always taught me, oh, no, that's just a personal spot and uh, and she said, man is like really trying to get more from you. They want to know you intimately. And I don't know about that. I don't know. I'm going to read up on it. But everything I had read up on it, watch videos on about hugging, 
yeah, ain't no big deal because they're afraid of intimacy and everything. And they, you know, in the love bombing stage, they'll do that, be hugging and kissing all on you. Their first couple weeks and everything, then when you do it, be going, uh, uh, now, come on, uh, later, and, uh, no, not, not, not right, uh, stop, okay, fuck, have this say respect, when, when, um, you know, it'd be a little bobbing period, uh, period, yeah, uh, a little bobbing stage, that's what I'm saying, so, have I met anyone genuinely? Affectionate, yeah, 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 a little something, so it was 50 50. I had two that going to sit up there talking about, no, that ain't what they all about. Shoot, that's what I'm all about, so you need to keep it moving. Bye. And there's plenty of people out there just like you, go be with them. You know, that, that mixed essence, see, mist matching, yeah. Yeah, they always talk about that equally yoked. What I'm into, you ain't into it. I understand that, but since you're not, you know, I don't, I don't see the point. Be friends. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's, that's the thing. We, we tell them weirdo. It's cool. We can be friends. No. No, you my girl. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll be telling them motherfucker, you don't have to make a commitment to me for us to get together and have encounters every now and then. You ain't got to do all that. Keep it real. I don't want to keep it real, though. That's what be pissing me off. And that's that's all you gotta do. They don't know how to keep it real. They always gotta be so deceitful. And what they think you're into and like and everything and want and desire, they'll tell you, yeah, I, I can do that. I can make that happen. It is all talk. All talk. But as far as action, nope. They just sit there running their DSLs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you ain't gonna do shit. Shut the fuck up. Hey, you know, my mom was a narc. She talked about that. They didn't do it. How much you talked about doing it, you ain't never do to me. Oh, my goodness. Studying up on that personality disorder she had. <laughs> I realized more and more her and so many other people I grew up with and encountered along the way are full of shit. Damn, they fake as fuck. Fuck out of here. They can't handle the truth either. They want you to lie to them. Well, that's a 50 50 because sometimes they got a nerd say, Why are you lying to me? I don't like that. <laughs> Quit all your fucking lying. As it's called, future faking. Cut it out. Fuck out of here. I can handle it. If you can't do a certain thing, just say so. Don't lie and say you're going to do it. And I didn't ask you for none of this shit. This is what you offered. Fuck out of here. I ain't said before, I'm saying it now. Some of the little fierce and fake ass people. All that talking impressed her. That's probably what my dad did. But she, as far as I saw, he ain't had to put no effort in. He just had to, back in the day, you know, when he yelled, he just had to stand up there looking pretty. 
<laughs> and she was. Uh, uh, um. And she, how many years later? Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I was in my late 20s. Mm-hmm. 30 years later. 30 years later. And all the fuck he had to do <laughs> was just stand there and, you know, they was talking about red flags and they were saying somebody like him and just sit back and let people make all the decisions and do things for him. They don't want that. I'm talking about, you know, certain things she should have had her husband do it for her. What the fuck he there for him? She out there like a dude. You remember? Oh, yeah. Reply at him. And they get on females' cases. The red pill community. <laughs> About women like her. Oh, I think they call it. Oh, no reply at all. They call them. What they say is masculine energy. Some of this shit, I look back and be like, what the fuck was she doing doing that? Huh? What the fuck she got him for? Tall man. Not, not, not extremely skinny, not extremely big. Well, medium. Tall. And, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all he was. She, she wasn't that tall. She had nerve to say she ain't want nobody short. Them short men got a little more heart than what he had. He's the type of person just should have just sat, you know, home with his parents and stayed with them. He, he, wasn't, he wasn't really about no pussy. <laughs> Ew, yeah, I do know that. I know that. I know that. Ain't that sad? Yeah, I do. No, he wasn't uh, into sex like that. He get married for that reason. She leading him around, telling him what to do. And he, uh, she deep down inside, that's what she preferred. Because she was there. Oh, I don't tell me what to do. Alright. So you got you somebody that don't tell you what to do with the shit. Some of them decisions they made. Oh my goodness. Like, when they first moved into that fucking dungeon we lived in for ten fucking years. I'm gonna talk about it little by little, because it, it's hurtful. Uh, my grandmother went in there. I am a turtle. But, uh, my dad's mom went in there. And she was like, uh, what's that called? Rubbing her arms. And she's like, phew, I think you guys made a mistake with this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's cold in here. They ran back in her car and left. She's like, fuck that. She was bad. My mom was bad for years. Oh, that's so ignorant. And that's yeah, right. She, she was, she was more talking about how cold, uh, how hot something was. She was complaining in a minute. Oh, it's hot as fuck up with this motherfucker. So she was complaining, saying it was cold. But remember, I was eight, and my brother was six. A six and an eight year old. Yeah, let them two grown stank ass motherfuckers that was in their late thirties let them deal with that shit. But us, come on, grandma. Really? Yeah, y'all just sitting around talking about it with other family members laughing and yeah, her family laughed. They thought that shit was funny. I don't understand it though. How you how you let a kid live like that? Yeah, you don't step in, you don't call the authorities, you don't do shit. Uh huh. Uh, I think she's in the cocaine. <laughs> uh, functional cocaine addict. Yeah, money for that cocaine. And that marijuana, though, did she? It was sad. It was pathetic. It was, uh, and some Christmases, you know, we didn't get anything. Real. <laughs> Yeah, well, a kid should grow up like that. It was pitiful, and then she'll 
like I said, read um, stories in the news. She loved the news. Loved the news. She be looking at the news and reading the paper. Yeah, that was back in the day. Nobody reading no newspaper now, but ah, ah, ah. yeah, that was back in the day. I won't wait. <laughs> If you read the newspaper, you'll see a horrendous story about child abuse. See, see, you say you have it so bad. I ain't got it good. She had gaslight me all my life, telling me I had it so good. <laughs> right. And shit, I could have dealt with those meager accommodations if, you know, she had treated me better. And I ain't saying a little better. I'm saying better. Better. Oh, the yelling. I did a lot of yelling and cussing when I was a kid. It is a teenager name calling and put downs and telling me what I could do and what I wasn't doing. And I wasn't this and I wasn't that. And I, oh, did what I got in the 20s and 30s. Looking back, talking about, you know, times um, I've had altercations with kids. And um, sometimes, you know, I didn't fight them, not right away, yeah, I would argue with them, uh, then, you know, I would just let my temper go, and next thing you know, you know, I'll, I'll fight the kid, but she'll talk about how I let it build up, you know, he talked about that, threw that in my face, a few fights I've got into an adult, was the one like pushing it and saying get him get him hmm I don't, I don't think that's right and me personally i would like if i saw two kids fighting i would break it up i'm like no no y'all stop that cut that out well no she was just saying no get him get him wow hmm. and she's done that a few times with her siblings too when they were growing up she didn't like a certain person. She'll tell the, the person beat them up there, her sibling to beat them up. And yeah, so uh, she was an instigator like that too. Well, anything I thought about doing, I wanted to do, or something like that, you know, as far as like career moves, etc., etc. Oh, and then, then all of a sudden, no, you can't, you can't do that. And how are you going to, to think of a hundred ways? Why is a bad idea and why is it not going to work? Yeah, you know, in the meantime, in between time, yes, I had a mouth on me. I talked back. Talk, that was called talking back. And, uh, yeah, I got popped. So, yeah, she could get violent, too. What y'all doing? Oh, okay. Oh, so, yeah. Think about this, too. She would talk about, like, how antisocial I was. Teachers would say it, too. But I've never heard her say anything positive about me, you know, making friends with anybody. She would, she would always tell me they don't really care about me. They're phony. I've said this several times since I've been uh, getting on here talking. So, you know, I'm all mixed up and confused and everything. That's what she trying to do, gaslight. So, I don't, you know, I didn't know how to 
shocked at this interested now and if she's, she's gone. I don't have a problem talking to people, being in eye contact and, you know, conversing. Hmm, strange. But like I said, shit, I was damn near, what's the word, uh... <laughs> Nonverbal. Especially around her, I started to learn you better keep your mouth full. Then later on, she'll say, why weren't you talking? Like I said... No, why? So you could go back and tell them, tell me later on what I did, what I said wrong, and possibly right then and there tell me how wrong I am. Cutting in the conversation and giving her two cents. Come on now, so yeah, I just, you know, kind of thought of that. It was like nobody she approved of, and that one toxic ass friend that acted just like her, she, she kind of tolerated her, and she, that's because I would complain about her. Oh, like, oh my goodness, you, you know what she said to me, and you know what she did, and she laughing at everything. Oh, wow. Oh, that's Oh, uh, uh. well, everybody else, yeah, they're just using you for your car or whatever it is I had at the moment. What do they want to be your friend for? What, what, what's going on with that? Hmm. But that toxic ass friend, yeah. A misunderstanding. I was. Talking to, I'm not talking to, I was listening to um, a survivor saying that his parents treated other people, kids, so well, much better than they, they treated him. Huh. I know that would piss me off. He would talk like I was so hideous. He'd come oh right out oh and oh say oh it. God. But like I said, oh he'd say, you don't you look that good. Man. You know, something to that uh, effect or not say anything. And then a lot of times if a person said it, why did they, they say, a pretty girl like you or you're pretty or something like that? And she'll be like, why are they saying that about you? It's sad. You old, uh, like I said, three days older than dirt. <laughs> what the fuck you trying to compete with me for about cop fishing for compliments? It was your husband for you. Your husband 